we are told to expand 2x plus 1 all raised to the power 4. So it wasn't specified which method to use, whether to use the binomial theorem itself, combination method, or Pascal's triangle. So in this case, um, one person can choose to just write 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, four times. Expand it, OK? But we are going to use the Pascal triangle to expand 2x plus 1 raised to the power 4. And we know that if we have, let's say, a plus b raised to the power 0, our coefficient is 1. a plus b raised to the power 1, our coefficient is 1, 1. a plus b raised to the power 2, we shall have 1, 1 plus 1, 2, and then 1. A plus B raised to the power 3, we shall have 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, and then 1. A plus B raised to the power 4, we shall have 1, 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4, and then 1. So this is the coefficients we are going to use. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So 2x plus 1 raised to the power 4, we shall start with 1. So I'll have 1, then I bring my 2x which is raised to the power 4, which means our 1 will be raised to the power 0, okay? Then plus, then we shall have, the next number is 4, coefficient 4. I reduce this by 1, so I have 2x raised to the power 3, then increase this by 1, which is 1. Then the next one will be 6. I have 6, I reduce this by 1, I have 2x raised to the power 2, increase this by 1, 1 squared. Plus the next number is also 4, so let me clean this. We now know the coefficients as 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So let me write the coefficients here. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That's what we are using. To the power of 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So we've done 1, 4, 6. Now we are going to the fourth one, which is 4. So we write our 4. We reduce this by 1, which is 2x. And then increase this by 1. So 1 raised to the power 3. Then the last one coefficient there is 1, which is 2x raised to the power 0, and then 1 raised to the power 4. Now we get our solution by writing down the expansion of 2 raised to the power 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which will give us 16. So we have 16, and then x raised to the power 4, which is this, plus now 2 raised to the power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 times 4 will give us 32. So we have 32, then we have x raised to the power of what? 3. So remember, the 2 is being affected by the, the 2 is being affected by the 3, and the x is also affected by the 3. So we have 2 cubed x cubed, okay? Now, plus, this is 2 raised to the power 2, to be 4 times 6, we have 24. So we have 24, and then this is also x raised to the power 2, times 1 will give us 24 x squared. Plus, this will also give us 2 times 4, which is 8. So we have 8x plus 1 raised to the power 4 is 1 times 1. We have 1. So we have been able to expand 2x plus 1 raised to the power 4 in descending powers of x. Because you could see that my powers of x kept reducing to what? We had x raised to the power 0. Okay? So it was in descending powers of what? x. So this is our expansion for... 2x plus 1 raised to the power 4. Now, in our second part, we were asked to evaluate 1.05 raised to the power 4 to four significant figures. So we are going to use this expansion, OK? Now, if I have 1.05 or raised to the power 4, now, because I expanded this, and I'm going to use this to solve it, OK? The expansion I did was 2x plus 1. I can see this is 1.05 raised to the power 4. Now you can see that the powers are the same. Okay? The powers are the same. So I can say that practically somebody would just come and say 2x plus 1 raised to the power 4 is equal to 1.05 to the power 4. Then say because the index are the same, the basis are also what's equal. Because we have to the power 4 to the power 4, I can say 2x plus 1 is equal to 1.05. 2x is equal to um, 1.05 minus 1, okay? And then 2x is equal to, this minus this will give me 0 0.05. If I want x, I divide here by 2, okay? And I divide here by 2. 
my x will be equal to 0 0.05 divided by 2. And what is 0 0.05 divided by 2? This will give us 0 0.025 0 .0 5 divided by 2. 0 .025. So we have 0 0.025. That's how someone will solve it. Okay, very simple. Okay, but you can also go about it this way. Okay, if I have 1.05 to the power 4, I can write this in the form of this, which is I can write this as let's say 1 plus 0 0.05 or raised to the power 4. Okay, so writing 1.05, it can be 1 plus 0 0.05, which is the same as 1.05. Okay, now because I expanded 2x plus 1 raised to the power 4, when I compare this to this, my 1 is my 1, so I can also write this as let's say 1 plus 2x raised to the power 4. When I compare it to 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power 4, my, my power is this, my 1 is my 1, so my 2x is equal to, um, therefore 2x is equal to 0 0.05. Comparing, I divide here by 2, here by 2, my x is still 0 0.025, okay? So whichever way you want to do it, you have a way of solving for the value of x. Now we are going to put, because we are looking for 1.05 raised to the power 4, we are going to put x equals to 0 0.025 into this solution, okay? So we go, when x is equal to 0 0.025, we shall have this to be equal to 16 times 0 0.025 to the power 4 plus 32 times 0 0.025 to the power 3 plus 24 times 0 0.025 to the power 2 plus 8 times 0 0.025 to the power 1 then plus 1, okay? When we calculate this, this is going to give us 1.215506, okay? So to four significant figures, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so this will be 1.216. So this is the solution to 1.05 raised to the power 4. So if you need to check your answer whether you are right or wrong, you can pick your calculator and point 1.05 Raise the power 4 and see whether it corresponds to this answer. So to confirm that, when you are done, we shall move to binomial theorem itself.